Let's try the next one, transformer number 21. Now here you can see we have a 2400 volt circuit for a high side three phase three wire. That three wire tells us that that is a delta system. Well that means the phase to phase value is 2400 volt. We'll indicate that. Most 2400 volt systems don't have a corner ground so there would be no reference to ground. We'll just draw a line through that. Unless it states otherwise, we'll, we'll, we'll take a delta system as though there is no ground on it. All right, down below you can see that we've got four bushing transformers on the low side. The rating of these transformers is 167 kVA. We know that transformers that are rated 167 kVA through 500 kVA will have four bushing transformers if the low side rating is 1 to 2 such as this one is. This one on the low side is rated 120 240 volt and like I say it's 167 kVA that means there's four bushings on the outside of that transformer. The coil or the the capacity is below 200 kVA, and the coil current is below 9,000 volt. So we know that this will be an additive transformer as well. We know from the high side rating 2400 slant 4160Y that if we have a 2400 volt system, that will connect this delta. So the high side of this bank will be connected delta. We'll draw that diagram in there, like this. Okay, we can put the phases A, B, and C. The low side rating of this bank is 12208. There again, one to the square root of three relationship between those numbers. That means we have a Y connection. We need a standard displacement. We're gonna have a delta Y connection. The least possible displacement is what standard means now. If we have a delta Y, we know the least possible displacement is 30 degrees. Here's the center of the high side of our diagram we know that A is going to rotate 30 degrees, B is going to rotate 30, C is going to rotate 30, and we know we'll have a Y connection. So our diagram down below is going to look like this. We know that from the high to the low side that we're going to have vectors that are going to be parallel. Otherwise, we haven't drawn our diagram right. We know then that our phase phases are going to be such as this. A will be here, B and C are neutral here, and then remember all Y low side connections will be grounded in the center. In this case we have a four bushing transformer. It won't make any difference which terminal is on the inside or on the out. Uh, it, it, it absolutely makes no difference at all. We do know that the transformer, the way it's rated, and what we want out of those transformers, that we have to parallel the connections, but it's gonna be parallel from the outside. We want 120 volt out of all three of those transformers so that we can Y connect them and get 208 between our phases. So if we move up here to, uh, to our connection or diagram of each transformer, we know that this terminal out here is X1 because it's an additive transformer. This one over here is X2, X3, and X4. When we parallel these, we're going to parallel them on the outside and then we'll just tie these two together, X3 and X1 and come out. We'll tie X2 and X4 together and come out like that. If we do that, we'll have 120 volt across that transformer. Then what we want to do is identify those wires that we're bringing from those two ter those uh, terminals. We'll identify them as X1 and X4. 
And as long as we're up here, let's go ahead and identify the terminals on the high side. We'll have H1 and H2. We'll ground the tanks for protection. So now down below, doesn't make any difference, like I say, which one. Let's just put all our uh, X4s inside and our X1s outside. All our X1s we'll have outside. What we're doing here is establishing our, uh, our polarity on the high side. We're going east down below. That means we go east above. So we go H1 to H2 in the easterly direction. Then we'll go H1, H2, H1, and H2. Remember a delta high side, we want our polarity and our uh, transformer numbers to go the same way. So we'll go counterclockwise with our transformer numbers. This would be T1, T2, and T3. Okay, down below, uh, we have to identify our, our terminals down below. Those that are parallel represent the same phase angle or the same transformer, so this would be T1, this would be T3, and this would be T2. Now we can go up above and connect up our high side. There again, let's do like we did before. Let's take our terminals on the high side, connect them together, and then we'll run them up to our phases. This would be more typical of, of a on-the-job situation. H1 transformer 1 to X2 of 3, we're going to have it connected across like this. And then we're going to have 2 and 1 tied together like this and like this. H1 on transformer 1, see where we go up to A, so that has to be up here like this. Our next one over goes to C, like this, and then of course this one goes to B. Okay, down below we're going to make sure now down below we get our transformers. I'm not necessarily doing this in order. You want to ground out everything normally first. Okay, let's tie our outside of our terminals together. Parallel them to start with like this. Okay. Our X4s, we're going to come down and tie to our neutral, all of them, like this. Okay, transformer 1 goes to A, X1, X1 on uh, 3 goes to B, and then of course transformer 2 goes to, to C, just like that. Alright, now I'll take our voltages from that. We know that from each of our phases to our neutral that we have 120 volts, so we'll indicate that, 120 all the way around. And between our phases we have 208. Alright, our coil voltage now on our transformers. Across each transformer we have 2400 volts. And our transformers are quite large, so we're sure we're going to have some high current. The current on each coil is going to be 70 amp. We'll have three at 70 amp. We'll have three now. Remember, we have to take this a delta connection, so we have to multiply times our three-phase constant. 70 times 1.73, or the square root of three, we come out with 121 amp. Multiply the 121 amp times 1.25. We'll have three fuses then at 151 amp, which normally you'd probably end up using a 150 amp fuse. So there we have our connection for the problem number 21.